Okay, it's a good morning in Accra, Ghana. It's a sunny day, so it's it's so good to see the sun again. It has been raining lately, and so it's good to see the sun again. Okay, so welcome back to my channel once again, uh, Motor Skilled Electrician. And on Facebook, my business name is um, Vicarate Electricals. That is V I C a double r i e t and electric cars yeah so thank you once again for coming on my youtube channel or my facebook page to check me out i talk about electrical stuffs and sometimes i talk about my travels yeah but mainly on electricals. So today I'm going to take you through uh, something that is um, is um, sometimes it becomes difficult for electricians to decide on the specific amount or the specific charge or labor cost they should involve with. So today I'm talking about electrical work charge or rate table. This is what I have sat down to, to, to do or assess based on the things that electrical people or electricians are involved with. You know, first, electricians, we, we are in uh, what we call, um, hmm, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it, but we are in, uh, we are in sort of uh, a critical work field yeah so first thing is uh, as an electrician you need to get an insurance yeah you need to sh get insurance whether you have family or you don't have family you need to get insurance so that in case of untimely injury or death or anything like that you'll be uh, covered so first thing is we, we have a, uh, insurance so that it will take up uh, your expenses when the unforeseen happens. The next thing is your licenses as an electrician. Um, you are licensed and this licenses cost a lot. I will take the example of a domestic or residential electrician and that of um, commercial electrician. So in ghana i'm in ghana so i i will talk about staffs in ghana so in ghana a domestic or a residential electrician uh will require a license and that license the examination the fee for the examination is 450 ghana cities then you buy your uh, electrical materials for the examination and it will cost you around 300 Ghana cities, so making 750 Ghana cities. Then finally, you go to a graduation, and the graduation will cost you something around 350 to 400 Ghana cities. So, uh, for the license, for you to get a license, you will spend over thousand, over 1,000 Ghana cities to get a license as an electrician in Ghana. So the second one is uh, a commercial electrician. So a commercial, okay, so I didn't explain, uh, I did not explain who is a, a residential or, uh, or domestic electrician. So domestic electrician, as the name implies, or the, as the name residential implies, is. It's, it's simple, electricians who normally do uh, uh, things for normal household like, uh, um, like uh, uh, normal, normal household electricals. Uh, yeah, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom, normal, normal houses, yeah. Normal houses for residential purposes, yeah these these are the things that they do and a commercial electrician normally uh, does uh, uh, big buildings in, in in commercial status yeah 
so i'm talking about alliances so for the alliances uh, for a commercial the fee for the examination is 580 ghana cities and uh, and you need uh, your electrical materials that will cost you 300 cities or more and after everything the examination when you 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 are successful with your exams and you pass you receive a notification or message from energy commission and they will uh, give you a date or time for graduation and that one too that is when you are going to be giving your licenses and other stuff so that one will also require you to pay additional 350 Ghana cities to 400 Ghana cities for this graduation or line system. So in all, as a commercial electrician, it's it's going to cost you over 1,200 to, to get a license in Ghana. And for the licenses, you will also need to renew it every two years. Every two years. Yeah, you heard me right. Every two years, you have to renew the alliances for you to remain qualified and a professional electrician in Ghana. So I'm done with the alliances and we talk about the power tools, hand tools, etc. You know, an electrician, the reason why uh, some things you call an electrician is because you don't have the tools. If you were to, to have the tools, you could have performed those tasks, little tasks by yourself, like uh, sometimes fixing a bulb. Sometimes the lights need to be unscrewed. You need to unscrew some screws in them before you can fix bulb and stuff like that. So electricians, they need uh, hand tools like screwdrivers, a uh, pair of pliers, long uh, nose pliers, uh, uh, cable peelers, um, carfers, etc. And they also need power tools like uh, drill machines. Uh, they need tools like multimeters, uh, voltmeters, um, uh, earth resistance, testers, and a whole lot. And it costs money. It costs money. So uh, we should understand electricians because it takes it takes some kind of investment for an electrician to 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 get pro yeah because if you don't have that resources you can't get pro yeah so now let's get to the main issue here i'm talking about the electrical work charge or red table so i'm i'm talking about in ghana so in ghana i i have these things sampled here I have what I call simple or basic electrical works and that involves like something like installation or replacement of switches, light switches, socket, lamp holders, button fittings, uh, ceiling fans, water heater switches, AC switches, that is air conditioner switches, replacing bulbs. Uh, or fixing standard LED fixtures, light fixtures, etc. So the charge will be I how I am from now onwards. From now onwards, I'm going to charge 25 Ghana cities per hour or per point. Point means like when I fix one uh, ceiling fan, I will charge 25 cities for it or or based on the hours that I will spend there, I will charge 25 Ghana cities per hour. Okay, so the next thing is uh, just let work. Okay, so before, 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 before you get your uh, electrical stuff fixed on the walls, you, you see them neatly fixed on the wall. There, there are some kind of chiseling work. We chisel it out either with a uh, with a uh, uh, with a uh, a cutting machine, a grinder, or something, or sometimes when there is no power at the site, you need to use manpower to do it. That that is 
when you require a chisel and a more hammer to chisel the wall to fix your conduit boxes, your PVC pipes, circular boxes, etc. So for chiseling work, it's 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 a it's a very uh, it's a very hard work. So that one you charge forty Ghana cities per hour. And you know probably you're going to work for nine hours in a day. So it's it, your working time start from eight a.m. to five p.m. and you will charge uh, forty Ghana cities per hour. So the nine hours will be three hundred and sixty Ghana cities for a day. Sometimes you even work uh, from. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. but we will charge from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. so we work for you for one hour one hour free that's so 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 incredible and so the third point is pipe laying for story buildings you know before story buildings become story buildings do you think about how how do we get light in story buildings and stuff like that electricians are thinkers they are creative people so they find ways and means to lay their pvc pipes circular boxes etc in, in 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 the in the in the in the, in the uh in the ceiling for you to be able to get light and that is what we call pipe laying for story buildings and that one it's um it's it's kind of work uh, hard work but we manage to you know we think about our customers or clients for me specifically i think some people charge more but for me i think also about the customers and clients if they are not able to get money to bring you jobs you will not be able to work so we many times and all times we consider them before bringing out these prices so for that one that one it involves in heavy lifting and stuff like that you 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 know before you you go and lay your uh pipes your pvc pipes for uh the story building there will be some kind of steel work you go with your hinges or something to lift them up for you to pass your pipes under them and stuff it's it's a it's a hard labor or hard work so we consider it and we do it 30 Ghana cities, 30, 30 Ghana cities per hour. And uh, like I know, like I said, probably you're going to work for nine good hours. And sometimes from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., that's 10 hours. And you dash them one hour for free, then you charge them uh, nine hours. That will be uh, 274 a day. And the fourth point is electrical wiring. Electrical wiring, this is where wisdom and your mental is tested. This is where uh, you go around electrical wires. When you make mistakes, pipe laying, you will not burn a house. Chiseling work, you will not burn down a house or somebody's investment or property. But when you mess up with your electrical wiring, that is where you're going to find yourself in a big mess or trouble. So for electrical wiring, we charge, for your sake, for our client's sake, we charge 40 Ghana cities per hour. And you work for nine good hours or even more, 10 hours. But you charge your nine hours. That is 360 Ghana cities for a day and the other one is uh electrical for the fifth point is electrical fault emergencies and electrical solutions you know sometimes around let's say you'll be there and a client or uh, someone who needs an electrician will call you that i have this emergency i have this uh, electrical fault in my house yeah so for the daytime from in the morning to up to 6 p.m let's say up to 5 p.m the charge is 50 ghana cities per hour and emergencies after six 
and late in the evening will be 70 Ghana. You charge 70 Ghana cities per hour. And my friend, take notice of this. These charges are for locations within 40 kilometers from your location as an electrician. Yeah, so uh, probably uh, locations outside your your areas, maybe some your a client need your expertise in uh in, in 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 another location let's say you are in accra and the person needs you in cape coast that you will charge more extra but sometimes i consider these things and charge the same thing but i'm 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 just giving you these guidelines that this is what i'm going to charge from today onwards so you 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 get something to help you to charge for your electrical works So these are the points here, and these are the charges. I know some people charge more, but this is what I do. For me as an electrician, yes, I'm working, I'm working to, to earn a living, but I am, an, I am a human being. I am a human being. So I also think about uh my client and i consider <clears throat> excuse me i consider so so many things so so many things and that is why i have arrived on these things i know people uh one time i had uh, a guy who came to our house and uh, he did some kind of uh chisel work he used uh, a cutting machine to cut uh some small space within 30 minutes he charged 70 Ghana cities and i said wow so you see some people charge more and actually some people also charge less so today i will end here and i will encourage you to subscribe to my channel motor skilled electrician please uh, click on the bell icon You select all so that you receive notifications from the videos that I will upload uh, On this channel because you know this year and the, uh, the years to come I'm going to upload more videos more 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 electrical videos more tips more uh, more more uh, tutorials etc. So you got to stay tuned to this channel and I will see you next time. Till then, bye for now.